Well, a local organization that hands out a free school supplies is shifting the way that it gives back to the community. WCPO 9 News reporter Paolo Soro tells us how nonprofit crayons to computers continues to help students learn and teachers save money even during the pandemic. Thousands. <laughs> That's how much money ESL teacher Tracy Sheridan says she'd be spending if crayons to computers wasn't around. For me, it's critical. My students don't come with stuff in their back pocket. The charitable organization, which gives teachers who work in schools where 60% or more of the student population is on free or reduced lunch, has shifted the way they serve. It is a strange year. Just like some educators shifted the way they'll be teaching. The bottom line is that kids still need basic school supplies in order to be successful in their learning, and learning must go on. And the help for students and educators goes on too. Usually these shelves are filled with supplies and the room filled with teachers, but all of that has moved outside with this drive through distribution where every half hour, 25 car trunks will start to fill up and they'll receive a kit, a tote bag with a number of supply items in it, get a case of binders and possibly to get a flower arrangement to uh, make their remote learning environment a little bit more attractive as well. It was quick. It was awesome. It was very well thought out. The nonprofit says that teachers can spend anywhere from 500 to $1,000 of their own money on school supplies every school year, which is just another reason why they say this drive through is so critical. That's a pretty big hit because teachers salaries are not among the highest in the land. Uh, but they care. President and CEO Amy Shaney says that prior to COVID-19, there were around 150,000 kids in need across the 16 counties they serve. Now and for the foreseeable future, she adds the need is even greater. And there are so many families that are struggling with unemployment. And if you can't put food on your table for your family, you aren't going to be able to provide school supplies. And while the help has shifted from indoor to outdoor, Shaney says their goal to hand out around 2,000 kits is similar to the number of store visits here last year. Oh, gee, probably would come at least four times a year. If I didn't have this support, I would be going to Staples and spending my own money. Paolo Lucero, WCPO 9 News.